All right, so here we've got a um, here we've got a new mutation for us. This is called a fireball python, and he's actually from a place called Fireball Pythons. Fires are a het black-eyed leucistic, uh, which unlike the blue-eyed leucistics, these guys do produce an animal with pattern on them. I don't know if you can see it real well, but he has a little bit of a different coloration to him. It doesn't really show up real well. That's a little better. But uh, let's just to kind of uh, just to kind of show off maybe what that uh, what that coloration looks like. Let's find a normal. Let's find a normal female, a normal looking female. Ow. Here, making sure my fire isn't running off. Making sure I don't drop this snake tub, which I just I get the feeling I'm going to. So uh, once again, doing this one-handed. For those of you who have complained about that, uh, we're taking uh, taking volunteers. It is currently midnight here at Wildmore Pythons, but uh, let's take a look at a normal next to a fire. You'll be able to see the color difference instantaneously. This is the normal on this side. This is the fire on this side. As you can see, loads of different coloration. All right, we're gonna flip this little fire over. I want you to take a look at his belly. Fires have this really neat sort of a translucent uh, kind of a belly. Take a look at that head. Fire heads are always blushed out for whatever reason. That's just kind of part of the uh, kind of part of the mutation. You'll hear a lot of people that uh, pick up what they call dinker projects, or they pick up projects that they they think may be a new mutation. Uh, you'll talk about them. You know, they they want to look at the belly. Oh, look at the belly. You know, and then they then they go, but look at the head. The head's all blushed out. You know, this is why some of these mutations do actually have. A uh, different kind of belly, a different look to their belly, um, and to their head. Let's try and get that glare off of them there. There you go. Real good. Now that's not an azanthic. I know it kind of shows up this way uh, on the uh, on the camera here, but it's not an azanthic. It, it it actually is a normal ball python. Fires just have that coloration to them. So if you take if you take that and then you compare it to something like a lesser platinum, who's going to bite me? You take that and then you compare it to something like a lesser platinum. So and I know what everybody's gonna say. No, that's not a normal lesser. Um, there's a a quote unquote, we're gonna call her a special lesser. Uh, a special lesser, a fire, and then a normal. Ten points if you can guess what she is. Let's get a little close. So there is our little quote unquote special lesser. There is our fire. There's a normal. So all three mutations and lined up there. So what do we what do you make with fires? Things like uh, the pastel fire, which is called a firefly, or uh, and actually fireflies look remarkably like super pastels. Uh, I know uh, just then when you when you saw that shot of her, uh, her, her, it's a him. It is a male fire. Uh, it looked really almost like a pastel. It's very yellow. He's not really a yellow color. He's more of a uh, more of a cream color, really than than anything else. And so, uh, 
yeah, there you go. I'm going to cut off here and we're going to take a look at one more real quick mutation that we just picked up. So very quickly, last but certainly not least, is our new combination that we just added several weeks ago. We've actually had this guy for a couple of weeks. This is a uh, pewter. And, uh, oh, and he's frustrated. Pewters are actually the combination of the pastel and the cinnamon gene. So when you breed a pastel and a cinnamon, just like with spiders or just like with uh, pides or anything else, one in four, statistically one in four, you get a one in four shot at producing something like this. Now, this guy, he's really neat. We bought him because of his his black back that he has and because of his side oh, <laughs> and because of his side pattern. I really love the floating donuts uh, that this guy has. One thing about pewters real quick before my battery on my camera here dies and we'll, we'll do another video on him here a little bit later. When they hatch out they're actually very very gray and silver. They're incredibly gray and silver. That's why they're called pewters. Um, is because they do have a pewter look to them. As they age, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on this guy. As they age, they start to turn yellow. Because that pastel, for whatever reason, as they age, there you can kind of see that yellow coming in. As they age, for whatever reason, that pastel influence really starts to override the cinnamon influence. And so they start to turn yellow. Which is fine by me. I like polymorphic genes like this where as babies they look one way and as adults they look a completely different way. That's, uh, that's perfectly okay by me. Alright guys, pewter ball python. Oh, just uh, for uh, props, this guy came from Tim Johnson at Royal Morphs, and the uh, the fire that you saw earlier came from uh, Trey Barnard at Fireball Pythons. Uh, for those of you curious, uh, links in the pants. Thanks for looking.